It's Bonnie. Happy Vlogtober Day 6. I've got another Halloween video for you guys today. I am reviewing the Kringle Candle Witch's Cauldron. Um, this is one of their Halloween candles that they, they did a pre-order in July. And I really, this is my first experience with Kringle Candle this year. I didn't realize that once these are gone, they're gone. <laughs> they do a limited run. Um, with this selection, I also picked up the Poison Apple, which I reviewed. And then I also got the Haunted House. I'll have to say, I love these jars. These are so collectible. Even if I burn down the candles, I'm keeping the jars. But um, I can picture myself like pulling these out every year. I also did get the Country Jar, the Sleepy Hollow with the purple wax, which I'll probably get to during Vlogtober. So Witch's Cauldron apparently has kind of a cult following to it. Um, the It's just a really tall glass candle with um, a black, kind of opaque. You can kind of see, I don't know, when it's lit, you can kind of see through it a little bit. <coughs> Not coughing because of the candle, it's allergies. <laughs> So Witch's Cauldron has, I want to show you guys this um, in one of the other candles. So the wax is gray on these. They are a soy blend. And cold, um, I can't say they're overly strong cold, any of these. But they do have um, very pleasant scents. This one I think is the strongest. This is the Haunted House. Um... I like how Witch's Cauldron smells cold. It's kind of a clovey, cedar, citrus, smoky scent. Um, it's kind of hard to describe, but I really, really like it. This one is burning extremely clean. I'm actually just going to put this one out so I can talk about it a little bit better here. Um, these burn really, really nice. I'm so impressed with the wicks. Um how the wax is kind of burning. But this one, I love the smell of it. It smells like kind of like an outdoor campfire, but it's got like a leathery, clovey scent to it. I mean, it kind of does smell what you picture like would be like a witch's cauldron, not that you'd want to be near one. <laughs> but it does kind of evoke that like awesome like I got my Hogwarts sweatshirt on today <laughs> my sweater it does kind of feel like um it's got a Harry Potter-esque feel to it um which I really love um in comparing it to Witch's Brew which is the Yankee one I would say this one has a lot more patchouli to it um I get a ton of patchouli off of off of Witch's Brew which I I, I also like but I'm just I don't know. This is just really magical to me. This will be a collector's item. Um, let me know if you got this one and um, what you guys think, because like I said, this kind of just made my day to day. I'm enjoying um, kind of putting up all my Halloween stuff, the rest of it around and burning my Halloween candles. It's kind of raining out. So that was kind of exciting today. So I am, I'm going to give this a nine out of 10. The throw was a little bit light for me, but I'm, you know, that's, I'm not like overly concerned. I wasn't necessarily looking for like this amazing throw. I bought this one because of um, the jar and the overall ambiance of it. I'm completely thrilled with it. It does it does have a really nice smell too, though. It's just, it, it's Halloween-y. <laughs> I hope that makes sense. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Vlogo, uh, Vlogoween. I always say Vlogoween. It's like Vlogtober, Vlogoween, which is kind of the same thing. Vlogtober day seven is coming tomorrow. <laughs> bye bye, you guys.